most men have no idea how to dress for their body type. And this greatly affects their confidence level when they walk out of the door. In addition to that, when guys are ready to go to the store and buy clothes for themselves, they have no idea even what to buy. That's why in this video, I'm gonna show you only five items that you need to start a beginner stylish wardrobe for any specific body type. I have selected five different men's fashion influencers that style their clothes confidently and they always look good. And I'm gonna show you how they have the perfect fit and look confident in their clothes with all the items on this list. This video is also sponsored by Revolve and I'll tell you a little bit more about them later. Now, let's get into the video. The first item on the list is gonna be a pair of trousers. Listen, if you can master the fit of trousers, you can infinitely look stylish in any different outfit and look comfortable at the same time. So starting off with Mario with the O-type body type standing at 5'9", it's best to get your trousers with a tapered straight cut fit. It's also very important to make sure your trousers are tailored. If you don't get your your trousers tailored and you have this particular body type, you risk your pants looking floppy and not looking good. Now, if you have a body type like Ladarius standing at 5'10 with a slim build, you want to get trousers with a slim cut fit, no taper, mid-rise. Now, if you have a body type similar to Q where he's 200 pounds and six foot with wide shoulders, you want to do high-waisted trousers. High-waisted trousers on this particular body type offer an advantage of balancing out the proportions. They give the appearance of longer legs and they offset the width of the shoulders. Now, if you're a big and tall guy like Carpe, you should go with more of a relaxed fit in your trousers to give more room in the seat and thigh. You also want your trousers to be flat front and have a mid-rise with suspender buttons in them. You also wanna have a slight taper on these relaxed trousers. And if you're 6'2 like Rashad with a slim build, you wanna go with the tapered leg for your trousers with a slight break on the shoe. That slight break is gonna prevent any bunching up at the bottom of the shoe. If you're a tall guy, this is gonna be really important for your trousers. The next item on the list is gonna be a classic white dress shirt. It doesn't matter your body style, a classic white dress shirt is always gonna be an essential in every man's closet. If you have a body type like Mario, the main thing here you wanna focus on a shirt that has a comfortable and relaxed fit and that is not too tight. Now, if you're a guy that's 5'10 with a slimmer build, you want a white dress shirt that emphasizes a sleek, fitted, tailored look. You don't wanna have a shirt that has a lot of excess fabric. You wanna create a natural line in your shoulder that avoids this. The shirt should also be long enough to stay tucked in and it should be slightly tapered at the bottom to show your natural line. Now, if you're a guy that has a body type with a V taper at six foot at 200 pounds like this, it is crucial for you to have a collar on your white dress shirt that fits comfortably. You want to make sure that you're able to fit at least two fingers in between your collar and your neck. Now, if you're a big and tall guy like Carpe standing at 6'2 with an O-type body type, this is another example that you want to go with a more relaxed shirt. If you have this particular body type, it's good to look for dress shirts that have a specific cut for bigger builds that provide a clean and comfortable fit. If you have a body type like this where you're tall and you have an athletic, slim build, you want a dress shirt that's fitted and tailored with enough room to comfortably move your arms. You want it to be slim and tailored to enhance your tall and lean frame without appearing too tight or too loose. And on this one, you wanna make sure that the seams on the shoulders perfectly align with your shoulders to ensure that the shirt properly fits your upper body and doesn't create an extra bulky effect. The third item on the list is another classic item that you probably never would have guessed, but if you wear it right, you can look good no matter who you are. And that's a polo shirt. Now, polo shirts come in an array of different styles. Now, if you're 5'10 with a slim build like Ladarius, a good polo shirt for you is gonna be one that has a slimmer fitted build up top, but a looser crop bottom on the bottom. The untucked shirt look happens to look really good if you have this particular body style. If you look similar to Q and you have a V taper with more big shoulders, you can go with a classic polo. Just make sure it fits well around your shoulders and around your bicep. Now, if you're a big and tall guy when it comes to polo shirts, I suggest going with a variation of a button through polo shirt more than a classic polo shirt. In addition to this, I would layer it with a tank top up under it. This has way more versatility for a more confident look and a proper fit to hide your love handles. Now, before we get to the next item on the list, I wanna tell you about our sponsor because they're a great place to get all of these classic stylish clothes. And that's gonna be Revolve. Revolve is a great place to get stylish items like this shirt that I have on and other items of this outfit that you're seeing right now. Revolve was created to offer a scale one-stop shop destination for young men to look elevated and stylish. So if you're looking for a fall or even winter old money style that looks more refined, this is a great place to get it. And I gotta say, when I was looking through their website, trying to decide what items I wanted to select, it was so hard to pick because I liked everything there. So if you're looking to elevate your style, definitely check out Revolve. Now the next item on the list is going to be a blazer. 
It doesn't matter how you slice it, a blazer is an essential part to make any man's shoulders, chest look stylish. Now, if you have a body style like Mario right here, it is crucial for your blazer to be tailored the correct way. You wanna avoid blazers that have shoulder pads in them that extend beyond your natural shoulder line. The blazer should be snug around your chest, but not tight. And you wanna comfortably be able to fit a fist in between your chest and the blazer where it's buttoned. The blazer should also be subtly tapered, but not too much. And what's really important about this one is that the bottom of the blazer length should hit around the mid crotch. Now, if you're 5'10 with a slimmer build, you want a blazer that's gonna complement the slimmer build. But what is a really important point about a blazer on this particular body type is that it should have a slight taper at the waist. This is gonna enhance the natural slimness of your build. A single-breasted or double-breasted blazer can look good with this body type. Now, if you're a guy with really broad shoulders giving you that V taper like this guy, a double-breasted blazer is gonna look the best on you, and here's why. A double-breasted blazer accentuates the shoulders and the chest, creating that more of that V taper silhouette. The additional fabric and the buttons create a structured look that enhances the natural frame. Now, if you're a big and tall man, when it comes to your blazer, it is crucial for the fit to be very structured, well-tailored, and put together. You wanna make sure this look offers comfort and also flattering to your silhouette. It also will be good to avoid blazers with pads in them as well. The waist of this blazer should have a subtle taper to create a more refined look. However, it shouldn't be too tight. And the last item on the list is gonna be something that you probably notice all these guys wear and look good and I wear a lot myself and that is loafers. A loafer can look good on any man. Loafers have an insane amount of versatility, comfort, and ease of wear. And those are all the items on the list guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know in the comments what body style you identified most as.